guys, it's Heather with Gracious Offerings, and I just wanted to bring a short video to you um, because I had to run to my local Dollar General and uh, pick up a broom because I couldn't find where my broom went, and um, my husband left to go to our hunting lease, and it occurred to me on the way home from the store that he may have taken the broom with him in the camper. So I got me a new broom and I found a few little items and I also um, videotaped um, going through their decor for fall and for Halloween um, and I may link that um, at the end of this portion of the video um, for you to see. Um, our, do our Dollar General store was kind of crowded today. Um, people were going in and out of the aisle looking at all the, the new stuff and so it was kind of hard to videotape without um, being stared at and um, anyways um, it was kind of messy in there I guess they had just had a sale that's what I heard the cashier say to someone and all the aisles were cluttered and things were not put where they were they belonged um, it looked like they needed to do some work in there. So, um, I got a few items. I saw some other items that I did not get on camera um, that I'm going to wait to go back and see about getting later on. And just picked up a few things that I thought I couldn't leave without. Um, so, I'm going to show you those now. First is off the reason why I went is my new broom. Uh, they only had two to pick from, and um, the other one was a Mr. Clean, and it was more expensive than this one, and this one is just a Dollar General home broom, and that will get me by until my husband comes back. Um, as I was leaving, I came by some signs, and I saw this one. I thought it was really pretty. It's a canvas sign. It was $3. And it says, Together is our favorite place to be. And it has some blush colors. And I just thought that this would be really pretty sitting somewhere um, during my daughter's wedding. Um, so I got that for the wedding. Um, I also came across this light wood sign it says hello and I don't really like this lettering that they have going on and I don't like all the black on it but I thought that I could paint over it and paint something else and make this like a fall decor piece it was only a dollar um, you're supposed to actually color this in and make it how you want it, but um, like I said, I don't like the black. And they only had two of these, so I just grabbed both of them since they were just a dollar. They're very lightweight. Um, one of the first things I came across were these silver letters with these little gem accents. Um, it says there's 72 pieces in here. I thought these would be great letters on... A homecoming mom or garter um, I'm gonna be making a homecoming mom so um, I thought these would be really pretty on it and um, the perfect size they also had some um, that didn't have the gemstones that were silver and some that were gold without gemstones um, but I liked these ones the best so I got this package and I believe let me see how much this was This was a two dollars for this pack. And the last few things I got, they had some ribbon, and I had already had a green. Found some green of the sparkly ribbon from Walmart that I had picked up, and they had these three rolls, and that's all they had at my Dollar General. Um, two of the purplish color and one of the orange so I grabbed all three of them 
Um, so I'll have those to use in Halloween um, crafts. And so far, that's all I got. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to go back and maybe go to some of the other local Dollar Generals. Maybe they'll be a little bit cleaner. Um, but I will attach the video stream of me going through the aisles um, up next. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell when it appears. Um, so that you'll be notified of all my other upcoming videos that I'm going to be posting. I do have the witch wrap, mm, I can't talk, the witch wreath that I'm going to be working on. Also, I'm going to be working on some um, decor pieces um, that I'm going to use as centerpieces in my daughter's wedding. And um, just some other kind of fall crafts. So, be on the lookout for those and I'll see you later. Okay, the first thing that we come up to is these spiders. Up at the top, there is, um, it's like a flashing, glowing spider. It comes in three different colors, purple, black, and orange. Then they have these four pack of spiders that are sparkly, glittery. And they also come in purple, orange, and black. Um, and on the back, they have these like little sticky tabs so you can stick them to things. Um, but those could be removed if you needed to. Um, they have a little bit of fall stuff next to that, just some kind of random um, houseware type stuff. Um, they have these cute little cups. At first, I couldn't figure out what that was, and then I realized it was the back of the cup, and it's the tail of this little raccoon, and I thought that was kind of cute. And then they also have owls, and the owls are in, in orange and green. And then there's these leaf plates um, in various different colors. I didn't really look through them. Um, you could paint those and use them as something. And little owl mugs. And then I came across these two tins. And I really liked these. I thought they were cute. They were $5 a piece. But there was only one of each kind. Um, I would, If I was going to get them, I would want them to match. So I did not um, purchase those. Um, then I went down further. And I found some burlap rolls of ribbon. And they had red, orange, blue, and green in those ribbons. And they were $2 a piece. And there was these little dollar signs. They were metal. And they were kind of small for you to put them outside. But there was an owl, a turkey, and a scarecrow. And they each had their own little words on them. And then I found these little stools. Um, it says give thanks and they were five dollars a piece. You could set like one of those little scarecrows dolls on top of them um, Then you see there was some scarecrow little stands But then there was these also metal little buckets the orange said happy fall and the green said give thanks I believe they were five dollars a piece Then you have um, your pot holders and your towels and there was lots of variations and there was these cute little um cloth ones with the embroidery that have a little owl and a pumpkin on them. Um, then I turned around and there was more stuff and there was their candle scents and there was these little candle holders that were um, metallic looking. There was orange and blue and I believe green as well. You put a little tea light in there. They were four dollars. They also came with these little metal leaves on the front. Um, there were some decorated um, Decor, mm, can't say that word today. Decorative pumpkins, and there was that little jar, um, wooden jar, um, two different kinds with the little metal decoration on them. They were three dollars a piece, and they each said something separate. Then there was this metal pumpkin with the decorations in the middle, and there was a different one. Now I went up to the candles. They have different kinds of uh, smells to those candles. And then I came across this little wagon. It was $5 for this little wagon. And I was just like, no, uh, no. I don't know anyone who would pay $5 for that little wagon. Um, there was this little wooden, the little cardboard sign at the dollar. It said pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Um, with a little uh, twine hanger on it. A little pumpkin on there. That was a little cute. Um, 
there was some candle scents for a dollar. And on top of them, they had this harvest sign, the little scarecrow said Happy, Har Happy Harvest, and it was three fifty. I thought that was kind of cute. Had a little bit of burlap on it. Then I found one that said Thanks as well. Um, so those were cute, and they had little uh, sunflowers on their little hats. Um, there's some, some more scarecrow that you hang on your door. I don't know if they had any bells on them or not. Didn't really look at them that well. Um, now I'm starting to smell the candles. They have all these different ones, different sizes. Um, let's see, yeah, those little ones. I kind of like those. Pumpkin flavor and cider flavor. Now I'm looking at the dollar cent wax cubes. Um, they had several different flavors to pick from. They all smelled pretty good. Um, they had some solar mobile lots, which you only get like a small glimpse of because I didn't really pay much attention to those. Um, but they're right there. Then I went down and found some picks with some red colored pumpkins. I'm not sure what I do with red pumpkins, but they have those. There's another one of those $5 wagons and they have some more in the back. Still don't, they kind of look cheesy to me, but there's some wooden um, little crate boxes. This one had some floral design that said welcome. Um, and I was looking in the back and the other one had pumpkins carved into it. Here's like a little topiary little pumpkin design. Four dollars has a pumpkin with some floral on top. And I was just looking back there to see what other ones they had. Um, so there's those. And there's some burlap ribbon bows and some pumpkin glitter mats. And a few more little topiaries that were three fifty. Then there was this little Hello Fall sign. I thought it was really kind of cute. But it was, it was for a dollar, and I just thought, I don't know that I'd want to pay a dollar for those either. And these cute little um, burlap pumpkins and plaid pumpkins, they were two dollars. And they were just stuck on the little wood. Some leaves um, for a dollar in a package. And then they had these clip-on glitter leaves that the Dollar Tree also has. And there was these wooden signs tags that had little pumpkins on them. They have gotten some in more recently because I've been in recently before I've done this this uh, video. So this is the end of this video. Um, I'm glad that I was able to share it with you. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye!